superstar first graders welcome to your new grade one learning journey and new video we'll discover fantastic stories participate in exciting activities and learn interesting information together on this beautiful adventure so put on your explorer hats because every day is a treasure of knowledge waiting to be found in this weekly video, we will learn to spell words with ending. On Monday, we will learn to add endings and we will be learning about the vowel teams, i.e. On Tuesday, we'll be learning about Garrett Morgan and the traffic signal. On Tuesday, we'll be learning about compound sentences. And on Thursday, we'll be learning about narrative writing and how to draft a paragraph using all the elements and traits of narrative writing. On Sunday, we will learn to spell words with ending. So the spelling words for this week are city, cities, having, living, and baking. So we will learn to add ES or ING to the end of the word. And we will learn about the rules of adding the ES and the rules of adding ING if the word ends with E. Now let's learn to use these words in sentences. New York is a great city. I would love to visit many beautiful cities with you. I'm having an old friend to dinner tonight. We were living in Amman. We are baking bread in the oven. In phonics, we'll be learning about words with ending. So sometimes words that end with Y or E change before we add an ending to it. The final Y becomes the letter I before adding ES or ED. The final E is dropped before adding ED or ING. For example, try, it ends with Y. And if we want to add ED, the Y will change to I, then we add ED. So it will be tried. Like, it ends with E, so we need to drop the E when we add ED or when we add ING. Vowel team IE. The letters IE can make a long I sound as in tie or a long E sound as in peace. So IE can have two sounds, whether it's a long I or a long E. Let's read the words here. Peace, cries. Gert Morgan and the Traffic Signal. It's a non-fiction biography and People follow traffic signals every day. Did you ever wonder where the idea for the traffic signal came from? Gert Morgan and the traffic signal tells about the problems of buggy and car drivers in 1920s and one man's plan to help keep the streets safe. So the targeted reading strategy is to retell the story, the objective is to use the reading strategy of retelling to understand the text and to identify the elements of biography. Compound sentences. A compound sentence consists of two independent clauses or two simple sentences joined together by a comma and a coordinating conjunction. What are the coordinating conjunctions? We have fan boys. So F for A and N nor B but O or Y yet S so. Let's read the examples. He was tired. This is a simple sentence. We joined it with another sentence, but before we join it, we need to put a comma and four. He was tired for he went to bed early. I cooked dinner, comma, and 
He washed the dishes, so we have two independent clauses joined together by a coordinating conjunction and and before the coordinating conjunction you need to add comma Jane has a red car comma but Jill has a blue car two simple sentences joined together with a coordinating conjunction but and make sure you add comma before the coordinating conjunction narrative writing so when you narrate a story you tell a story and when you tell a story you have to tell what is happening so you need to use transition words like first next and last and you will use also temporal words temporal means time it's a word that refers to time so temporal words like once upon a time yesterday during summer narrative writing so parts of narrative writing you need to write the title and which is here the nature walk you are using here temporal words like today i went on a nature work with my class around the school so this is the opening sentence or the introduction now as you can see here he's using transition words to write the sequence of the story so first we walked around the playground and i saw the squirrel next we went to the field and walked through the trees this is next another transition words then is another transition word i looked at a really cool leaf on the ground and i picked it up the closing sentence i saw a bunch of cool stuff on our nature walk so make sure to start it with an opening sentence and make sure to use temporal words and then you need to write the sequence of the events using transition words. And the last thing, you need to have a closing sentence. 